opposing legal teams and the country. The Supreme Court of Appeal reserved judgment to a date still to be determined in the state's appeal to overturn the Paralympian's culpable homicide conviction. With penetrating questioning from the full bench, both the state's and the defense's legal acumen was tested. That is an excellent witness, and he was never challenged. It was clear a fierce fight was coming. Two legal giants, one determined to get Oscar Pistorius back in jail for murder, and the other to have him remain under house arrest. That is the question that and the state was unrelenting and that, would be the that the trial court erred in its application of the law and disregarded crucial evidence. Ignored the evidence, the most important circumstantial evidence that will make the accused version not reasonably possibly true, impossible. In particular, key testimony from ballistics expert Chris Mangena, which it believes proof that Pistorius intended to kill whoever was behind the door. The court did not ignore the, the evidence or did not exclude the evidence. We've shown you to the, we've pointed you to the, or directed you to places in the record where she deals with it. She deals with every aspect. But the defence had a tough time convincing the full bench. Do you honestly and genuinely have believed that he was entitled to shoot that noise? To kill whoever was responsible for that noise? Well, if because that must be, that has to be established before you can have your putative self-defense. Well, I, I, I approach it differently, but I, I will respond to the question. My submission is different with respect, Justice Leach, and that is that the court analysed, the trial court analysed this evidence because this is now not leaving out part of the state's case because I've, I've demonstrated that. Well, the, court, the, trial, it's, the trial court analysed his evidence and found him to be a shocking witness. Yes. And an unreliable witness. The judgment is reserved. <laughs> the Supreme Court of Appeal judges will now spend some time mulling over the case. For June Stienkamp and her family, old wounds reopened. Oscar Pistorius's family was not in court and refused to comment on the proceedings. It will be an anxious few weeks before the athlete knows his fate. Well, it's now up to the Supreme Court of Appeal judges to decide whether his legal team put up a strong case to keep him out of jail. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News, at the Supreme Court of Appeal in Bloemfontein. If you would like to follow the arguments in court and you missed out, we have it all on our website, www.sabc.co.za news. You can click here and make your own judgment.